Hey guys, Ben here. This is a uh, fiber optic mouse that is similar to a, another project that I showed on YouTube, the fiber optic joystick. So it's a standard computer mouse that does not contain any electronics or any wire at all, actually. All of these are fiber optics and it senses the direction uh, through a quadrature method and uses the existing uh, encoder wheels. So as you can see, it has two optical channels per encoder wheel, and they are offset by 90 degrees in phase. So as the mouse is moved and the wheels turn, by sensing which uh, phase leads the other, the direction and speed of, the, of each axis can be uh, sensed. So on the receiver side, I'm using this telecommunications fiber optic to connect the mouse to the uh, receiver. And um, I'm using, these are just standard ST connectors, ST fiber optic connectors. And what I did to mount the fiber optics in the mouse was just to remove the ceramic ferrule from the ST connector. That's actually easier than it sounds. You can just put a grinding wheel in a Dremel and the, uh, the ceramic comes right out. So on the receiver side, I'm using uh, Avago HFBR series transmitters and receivers. And the transmitters are just on all the time, just to supply a, a steady source of light. And the receivers are wired to a, um, a microcontroller that does the quadrature decoding. And the cable itself is a, uh, a 12 conductor, 62.5 uh, micron multi-mode connector. And it uses one of these uh, MPO multi-channel multi connectors. So you can just pull this apart and connect all 12 channels. Actually, what does this look like in the camera? Can you see the infrared coming out there? Maybe so. It looks faintly red to the eye. You can actually see it, even though most of it is in the uh, infrared spectrum. So the one thing that I did new on this, different from the joystick, was I added buttons. So these are just standard, you know, it, they're the existing mouse buttons from the original mouse. And what I did was I opened up the buttons and added a little shutter so that when the button is actuated, uh, it actually it blocks, the little shutter blocks the light going through this hole here. So what I did is I mounted the fiber optics in the button body, and then when the shutter comes down, it blocks the light uh, from one fiber optic to the next. Um, so that was... <laughs> A little difficult to build these, but they are actually quite reliable. I've clicked these a bunch of times and it's, it's working just fine. So I hope you liked that project and I will see you next time.